What's going on guys? I'm gonna do a quick video on how to change the oil and clutch on the 2007 ZX-10R. It's gonna be pretty cool and simple once you don't understand. So I'm gonna use this pan to kind of catch that old oil when you look at it. I do have a, I think that's a, um, a magnetic oil plug that I have on there. Here, actually, let me make it. Come over on this side. Yeah, it was 16. Nah, it's, like a, it's probably going to be a 14. Oh, yeah. 14 it is, guys. Good old. Oh, other way. Jesus, I'm already messing this up, huh? <clears throat> All right, there we go. Yeah. I got the magnetic oil plug to see how much metal I can catch. There we go. And no metals. I did not grab any towels. Let me grab the towels actually. Oh, let me get my washer too. It's a good wash. Be right back, guys. Grab our trusty towels here. Cleaning off the old magnetic oil plug. Basically gonna let that sit. Let it kind of catch its, let it catch all of it, the oil there. It was very dark by the way. It definitely needed, it, it was time for an oil change. That's for sure. And I, what I'm gonna do is before I top it off with oil, I'm going to change the clutch before I get on to the actual remainder of the oil part. <clears throat> but I'll do two separate videos. This video is just the oil change. The next video is gonna be the oil clutch, or the clutch, sorry. And I, uh, yeah, look at that, guys. Jesus, the color of this oil, too. Here, let me show y'all. That's, that's pretty black. Yeah. Um, I did order everything online. I would recommend getting it online, putting your year, putting your bike model. Obviously this is just the clutch, but it came with four quarts, 1040 um, Kawasaki engine oil. And then it obviously comes with a filter, OEM. back here the oil filter is right in there and I'm gonna have to take off the plastics obviously. did not realize that but this is a good a good way of, of learning so that's cool we'll take off the plastics
be able to re reach this oil filter here, guys. Nice. Before we'll take off the rest, um, I do want to plug this up. Let me get this ready for... So I'm almost done. All right, so that's that, I think that's ready to go. I use the towel here, open it up, and now that I'm looking at it, guys, there's a little bit of metal here that definitely did catch. out washers coming out let me clean off that bit where the metal comes off it did catch a little bit of metal very helpful guys I recommend the the magnetic oil plug that's literally almost done just literally Where I capped that off, might just go a little bit around it just to kind of clean that up a bit. Yeah, I'll drop that off there. It's nice and sealed. I'm gonna go uh, get a clean, clean paper towel. Just go over that again. All right, that's nice and clean. We'll go ahead and tighten that. One, two, it's good. We'll leave it at that. It goes all the old motor oil. Take this out of the way, set it here to the side. I'm gonna actually use this more old motor oil. It's gonna be used for the clutch. I gotta set the clutch in there for about an hour. And then we'll go ahead and continue taking off the um, plastics so we can take the filter off, okay? And then I'll show you guys that bit there. That's all. Let's go to the next one here. That's out. Let's go to the top one here.
that's out. Now we can safely pull this, take this out, place this on the side, then go ahead and pull this plastic off, slide it right out. And careful with the um, with the uh, insert inserts here. Let's take that out, pop that off. And now we're ever exposed the oil filter, which is there. Um, I think I'm gonna take off the, I mean, I could pretty much do it with hand, but in order for me to avoid getting, uh, it's gonna be messy, but let's take a couple things off. So what I'll do is I'll slide this under. It'll, it'll be a very quick change here. Here goes the new oil filter, old oil filter. I'll grab a tad bit of oil, put it on the rim, around here, get that nice and oiled up. Now that that's done, I'm gonna go ahead and remove the old one. And there will be oil coming out, there it is. It's all right. Here goes the old oil filter. Set that to the side. Pop the new one back on. Get it nice and right on there. There we go. Slowly start tightening it. One and two, done. That's on there tight. Go ahead and take out, put the old oil filter in its, in its box and you have an oil filter change. All you need left is just to pour it in and you're gonna go. Uh, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna change gloves. Cause I'm gonna start working on the clutch. Let me go grab a new pair of uh, gloves for the clutch guys. All right, I got my new gloves here. I'm gonna move around to the other side so we can show you guys the clutch change. Get a fresh pair of gloves, obviously. And then I'll go ahead and throw on the, the cover back on and close it up. Always blowing them to uh, put that on a lot easier. So I think what I'll do is I'll end the 15 video, 15 minute video here. So on this side, and I'll show you guys what you end up doing, but on this side, what you do is, I don't know if you can tell, but all you do is you take off this cap there. It'll be this cap here. You take that off, nice little turn here. It is a little difficult. Sometimes you gotta, you might have to give it like a little, a little bump or two. <clears throat> Just kind of give it like a little baby. There it is. So once you've loosened it, you just open up this cap here. Once you've opened up the cap, you drop oil in there. It's gonna be 
these four quarts dropped in there once you've dropped it in usually the uh usually they have already funnels that come with it like when you order online it's got a funnel that comes with it just pour that in there close it up and you're good to go and you've changed your oil on your kawasaki um, i'm gonna go ahead and end the video guys like and subscribe i'm gonna start another video on the clutch which is this same area here so tune in guys y'all have a good one